Okay, so I'm here with David Foley from Nanotech Entertainment. And give me a little rundown on the new Nivola machines. We've got the Nivola MP1 that we're debuting here to the public. It's our streaming set-top box that does 4K native. And it's the first box that can do that over the internet. And we're showing it at uh, different bit rates here. So we're showing a 10 megabit here. On the other side of the booth, we're showing a 20 megabit. And then up top, we're showing 60 megabit. And the Nuvola can do adaptive streaming so we can, as your line degradation or depending on what you have, and we've chosen those levels. And we chose the 6 megabit because that's kind of the high end DSL. And below that, we found that the quality was just suffering too much. So we didn't want to go below that. Now, I've noticed that. Uh, Netflix came out and said when they start doing 4K, they're recommending like 15 to 20 megabit internet. How how did you get it to actually work as low as 6 megabits and still hold good 4K quality? We've actually sampled different types of video and we have different compression algorithms depending on what type of video we're doing. So if we're doing a concert, we're going to use different settings than if we're doing a movie. And if we're doing an action movie, we're going to use different settings than if we're doing something that's kind of a slow moving, you know, not, not a lot going on on the screen. And so it's a combination of looking at the content and our guys actually sit down and they tailor the, the compression on a case by case basis rather than just doing a blanket compression. Okay. Now when people get this thing at home, they're going to want to plug it in and watch 4K on their new Seiki TV right away. And it comes with uh, some free downloads from Ultraflix, right? And yeah, tell me about what comes with. Sure. So. Ultraflix has two, set, two types of content that come with it. It has 90 hours of free content, and that's ad supported. So when you play that back, you get the, the different things like you get that one song from Muse, and, and there's an ad that runs before it, but you don't, you don't pay a subscription for that. And then on the other side of Ultraflix, we have a VOD service. And so with that, with that content, we actually have, right now we have about 50 features ready to go, and we're gonna have 75 by Super Bowl Sunday, which is our Ultraflix launch. Great, so Super, so Super Bowl Sunday, you're gonna have plenty of stuff to watch after the game. <laughs> um, so so that's all great. Um, tell me more about the, the cool things you can do because it's running Android, like with uh, gaming or surfing the web or all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so one, one of the things that's nice is we're, we're based on the NVIDIA Tegra 4, and that's essentially the same power that you had in your PC desktop two years ago, which means that you can play very nice high-end games and 3D games, games that you would have been seeing on, say, a, a GTX 680 just a couple years ago, the same level of rendering on our set-top box. In addition to that, we are running Android, which means that you can run about 90% of the apps that are in the Android Google's Play Store will run on your set-top box, including all of the apps that you might have, say, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, those will run no problem. As they have 4K content, it'll play it natively. If you're playing their normal content, we actually upscale it in the NVIDIA chip. So if you have a TV that doesn't have a nice scaler, like the low-end TVs, TCLs, or Seikis, we actually do a very nice job of upscaling that inside the GPU of the NVIDIA. Okay. So before the big thing was, well, you can't stream 4K with an average American internet connection, and you, now you've shown you can do that. Um, so how about, tell us a little bit more about like 4K studios and how you're acquiring content and repurposing older content. Sure, so we, we actually do two things with 4K studios. One is that we license a lot of independent films, and we, we announced one today, Moonshine Kingdom, which is a great comedy. And we're licensing more and more of that because these independent guys are all shooting on reds, they have their stuff in 4K, and it's a way to get it out there in ultra high def. In addition to that, we're going and we're acquiring a lot of back catalog stuff that's in 35 millimeter print, and we have 4K studios that's got two laser graphics 4K scanners, and we're scanning them and then post-processing them into 4K digital. And then with those 4K studio movies, are they gonna be is it going to be a subscription service where you pay a monthly fee, or is it going to be a rental kind of system, or do you have both options? Now, so, so most of those movies are going to be on the video on demand section, and depending on the, the, the studio, it, they'll set the price, and it could be anywhere as low as a dollar or two up to $20, depending on the film. But we will have on the free side, we will have some movies and some TV series where you can watch it ad supported, or if you want to get all of that content on the free side and you don't want to see the advertisements, you can pay $5 a month and you'll play all of that with no ad. 
That's great because a lot of the other services don't really give you options, that's and that's what people want. With their ditching cable, they don't want to be restricted again by a, a certain type of service and a way to subscribe. So being able to be like, I want to pay a little money and get rid of the ads, or I'm okay with watching the ads and not paying anything, and you know, it works good for people. Now, what if you're an independent uh, you know, video guy with a red camera and you've shot a, you know, a short film or a full-length film and wanted to find a way to get it distributed because I've seen a few guys that have made 4K movies and have never exported a 4K version of it because there's nothing to do with it. Yeah, in fact, that's the the, the, the announcement that we made today with Moonshine Kingdom. Those guys had that same issue. They had, they had found some homes for it in HD, but they had it all and they had edited it all in 4K. And so we said, hey, let's let's take it to the 4K experience. And we actually have a very nice model for those producers. On the VOD side, we do a 70-30 split if we have exclusive rights to it. We do a 60-40 split for non-exclusive. And then, uh, and that's 60% going to the producers, not to us. And then on the free side, we actually take one third of the revenue and we give two thirds of it to the publishers. And we do that as one third as based on popularity. So we take all the content, we take the number of hours that each, each piece is, and then we share that accordingly to those producers. And then the other third we take is based just solely on volume. So how much content they provided against the total amount of content in our library, and we give you that up a bunch of those producers. Okay. So, so for those content creators, how do you recommend them getting a hold of you to try to work out getting their movie or short film or show on your, on your new bola? Have them uh, email leslie at nanotech.com. Okay, great. Um, any new news with the uh, nano sign kind of thing? You want to tell us about that? Yeah, we, ha we have a couple of big marketing deals coming up very soon. You're going to see them in a, at a lot of retail sections, and we're, we're actually using them in a, in a network sense so that we can put them out in locations across the country and have the content all synchronized. That's great. That's great. Um, any, anything you want to add about uh, the coming year for 2014 or even the first quarter um, about availability of the new Vola, like whether you can get it in online retailers besides just through Nanotech or also through brick and mortar stores? Yeah, so right now we, we just went into production and the, and the first shipment is going off to Ingram Micro. We announced a couple weeks ago our distribution partner with Ingram Micro. And they ser they're going to service a lot of the e-tailers, the Tiger Directs of the world go through Ingram Micro. Our second wave is going to go and, and it's, it's fulfilling all of the online sales that we've done and we've done through Amazon. And then the third wave is going to go into the brick and mortar stores. And we actually have a couple announcements coming out at CES with some big brick and mortar stores where you'll be able to get that towards the end of Q1. So we just got to wait to see which ones they are. Yes. Okay. Uh, anything you want to add? No, just uh, we're, we're glad that everyone's here at CES to see the, the product roll out and to see the quality that we can deliver at the low bit rates. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to getting one of these in my home, and I'm sure a lot of other people are. And thank you, David, for your time. All right. Thank you. All right.